How's it going everybody? Welcome to, to the Scarecorp Media channel. Today I will be showing you a couple of things on uh, Juniper EX2200 series switch. I'll be going through how to set up your name, how to put in your username and password, um, and just maybe some of the show commands, some of the IP commands. Just very, very basic 101 stuff in here. Um, I don't really have it written down what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go just whatever I think of, and I'm going to try to keep it maybe under 10 minutes. Um, so uh, here we go. So today for this uh, presentation, I will be using the Putty client. Um, a very uh, nice client, um, and uh, you can do Telnet or um, or serial cable like I am doing right now. So this is the first time logging into the uh, device. Um, so when you bring it right out of the box, the um, username is going to be root. There is no password on it yet. So it'll bring you uh, into this um, uh, into the shell. So you want to go CLI, and that'll bring you into the uh, uh, into this um, directory. Um, and then from here you can do show commands um, or you can do um, just basically any viewing commands if you want to do any of the um, uh, config commands uh, setting commands or, or anything more advanced you gotta go into the configure mode okay so uh, once we're in root uh, let's just uh, actually go back a sec and back into so I just hit exit and back into uh, this prompt we'll just do a question mark here just to see what all we can do so uh, I'm not going to go through all of these um, um, but here are some of the things that uh, you can do that you show and, and ping and monitor or go into the config mode so you can go uh, when you're in a Juniper um, uh, into the Junos OS, you can you can just type in your first couple letters. You can always hit Tab, and that'll complete the sentence for you. So it's kind of like uh, Unix um, or Linux based, and it's actually very handy. I use it all the time. Also, I think uh, Cisco, Cisco ha does have this, but you can actually, um, if you see, you can actually use the space bar as well. So uh, so I go C O N and hit the space bar, and that'll fill in just the same. So it's a little bit handier than uh, hitting your pinky with the tab. Anyway, moving right along, so we'll do the question mark here. Uh, a little bit more uh, to go on. Uh, so you have activate, deactivate your ports, uh, delete your statements. Um, let's see, rename, replace, and uh, and uh, yeah, so the the show command the set command and the the commit actually appears how you save so let's do a let's do a show running config we'll just do a um, actually if you just do show and hit enter that'll show you the running config um, of your system here so we're running uh, 10.4 uh, version of Junos and straight out of the box this is kinda what you get so the, all the interfaces are just uh, um, Ethernet switching family with uh, with no VLANs on them whatsoever here so there is your um, 24 ports we started with zero so there's the 24th and then uh, they're all gig ports and here you get four more additional SFP ports um, that uh, you get to put SFPs whether they're fiber or cat5 or whatever and uh, just some of the protocols out of the box alright so um, let's just uh, rename this uh, switch to uh, something we can recognize, so let's go set system host name, and we'll go secure corp uh, underscore 
EX2200. Oops. Okay, so a little different here than, than uh, Cisco. Um, whereas as soon as it enter, hit enter after a command, nothing, nothing actually happens until you save it or commit it. Um, so that's really nice. You can build your whole, the whole config and then um, check it over before you save it and that way um, if you screw up you can change it or if you're doing multiple things you can save it on the end so you don't get kicked out if you're doing this remotely. Okay then uh, let's put in uh, a, let's create a user admin and uh, and actually we'll change the password to our um, uh, root as well or actually make a password for the root so to do that you go set system login user let's create the user admin authentication and we'll create a plain text password hit enter on that um, make something easy uh, let's go admin enter uh, six characters all right, let's go uh, admin123, admin123, and there we go. Now um, we have to set the user to be a super user, um, so to give it the root privileges here. So we'll go set system login user admin class super user. And then let's quickly uh, create the same password for the root um, user as well. Set so system. Oops. I'm not sure what happened there. Kicked us out. Set system root authentication plain text password admin123 admin123 and there we go you could have changed it you could have kept the same password um, what have you okay so now let's uh, let's see if this will let us save so we go commit and we can actually do a commit check it'll verify the whole file if there's anything wrong with it it'll let us know in this case there isn't so now we hit commit <clears throat> okay, now that it's saved. Um, okay, so some of the other things, let's just uh, play around with the uh, with the interfaces, um, and let's just see what uh, what we can do here. So. Okay, so we have uh, our interfaces here. Um, so uh, actually, probably should show you uh, some more show commands. So we have show interface, like I just showed you, shows you the running config of the inter of just the interfaces. Or if you just go show, it shows you all of it, and then you can get to your interfaces. Um, there's also run show interfaces. So when you put run, it brings you back into the other um, the pre-config uh, um, uh, setting here. So if you go run show can uh, show interfaces, it actually shows you the um, the status of the interfaces. So there's our GE001, GE002, um, basically tell us that we're down. And there's also run show interface terse. And you can enter on that. That'll show you um, a bit of a, you know, a, a slim version of of what you just saw. So, um, I'm just gonna actually finish on this note. It's about 10 minutes here. I don't really want to go more than that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be showing you a lot, lot more.